I'm Piotr Rui and I'm virtual reality specialist. I'm a 360 video producer and also I'm a graphic designer and founder of Virtual Dream Foundation, which through I'm developing humanitarian and social projects supported by newest innovative technology such as virtual reality technology. Uh, let me tell you a few things about me, about myself, um, what I've done so far and where we can find some mutual field to cooperate and hopefully to help you with your wonderful projects. My VR adventure started in 2013 when I was organizing Dig Up Startup events. Uh, there were events free of charge where people with an idea for innovation could work together with professional lawyers, marketers, designers, developers and end up with perfectly polished business idea and the presentation ready to show to investors. At the beginning of 2015, I purchased full VR recording equipment. All the cameras, rigs, software and computer equipment. It was self-funded and I was self-taught how to use all the software and all the camera rigs. Of course, um, at the very beginning of the year when my adventure started, I used manually 3D printed rig for the cameras and it was supported by rubber bands to keep everything in the, at the place but it worked and the uh, experience was just um, priceless i started production of my first 360 videos for professional athletes climbing swimming pool about uh, billiards about pool about snooker parachute jumping american football squash rowing and many other very, very attractive and extreme sports. Uh, at the May 2015, uh, it was my first visit at Oncology Center. I realized that all this immersive technology could be a life changer for the kids who stay at bed for months after the transplant, chemotherapy, during the chemotherapy especially, and if the virtual reality technology can bring the more motivation for them, it could be something, something amazing that I can do even by myself for now. Uh, in July 2015, that was my second visit at Oncology Center, and it started with some media coverage, live interview on our biggest news TV station. Later, at September 2015, uh, I started to producing 360 video for the off-road racing and the footage is available for virtual dream for kids to see how it's to fly helicopter and how it's to ride uh, off-road racing car. At October 2015 I got invitation and I was participating in MEC Global Media House Disrupt Conference which I won for a social startup contest uh, and it was my, my first success. Uh, November 2015 Virtual Dream uh, I visit with the Virtual Dream the surgery world for in hospital for children. In November December 2015 I started producing the Virtual Dream video for the special request for the hospice. It was a cooperation with Partenitsa Horse Racetrack. We recorded how to take care of the horses, we recorded how to ride the horses and I brought this video to the kids. Also in December 2015 uh, I managed to purchase new set of video 360 cameras uh, with the customized lenses. At February 2016, I visited the children's care home with Virtual Dream to give them a glimpse of uh, virtual reality technology to fulfill their dreams of visiting all around the world. In March 2016, I started my cooperation with Polish Committee of Soccer and I produced a 360 video for the Virtual Dream project with our national team and behind the scenes of a Poland Finland soccer game. August 2016, my first visit in Geneva, Switzerland. Uh, I gave workshops and lectures about Virtual Dream. I was visiting ICRC, International Committee of Red Cross, GICHD, which is Geneva International Center for Humanitarian Demining. At October 2016, I started production of uh, 360 video with golden retriever puppies for the patients of Oncology Center. November 2016, I was a speaker at the European Virtual Reality Congress and I gave a lecture about virtual dream uh, about VR social potential, humanitarian cooperation and virtual reality risks for youth. In November 2016, I was also uh, invited to Lyon, France as a speaker on 6th Mine Action Technology Workshop organized by United Nations 
and the Handicapped International. I gave lecture about VR humanitarian support, virtual dream projects for hospitals and for victim assistance on the landmine and burn victims. I got an invitation from United Nations. We had a meeting and lecture about the virtual dreams, social support of VR in hospitals and other social facilities. In Geneva International School, I gave four hours workshops and lecture to international youth and students about potential and risks of VR development. In December 2016, we visited Oncology Center for the Christmas with a 360 video of horse riding and the diving with dolphins and playing with puppies, of course. At the same month, uh, which was December 2016, I gave a series of lectures at the high schools and I was talking about virtual dream and VR potential and, of course, risks of new technologies. I've started cooperation with Seniors Care House, Angels Care, and showed to curious residents few relaxation VR videos with Northern Lights on Alaska and Journey to Paris. After one meeting, I've got a list of over 50 places to prepare VR trips to, so residents can visit landmarks they've always dreamed about and never had a chance to see. At the end of December 2016, uh, I managed to get cooperation with a huge corporation, NVIDIA, with YouTubers, uh, streamers, esport athletes, joined forces to make 36 hours non-stop charity marathon, trying to raise money for the oncology center and for the VR equipment. We uh, wanted to get 50,000 of Polish Zwoty, but we managed to get 73. And also we equipped uh, this hospital in the virtual reality equipment, ready to be used by the patients and doctors. As you can see, last two years were very intense with gaining experience in humanitarian, social and medical expert knowledge about VR development. I am ready to share this experience with you to support your facility specialists and patients. Also, to start together new research in VR development on PTSD therapy, eye tracking solutions for handicapped, burn victims assistance, pain management and many other forms of virtual reality exposure therapy support. I would be more than happy to visit you and give presentation of my content and other incredible potential of virtual reality. All of last two years' actions were my own individual, one-man self-funded operations. So just imagine how much we can do together at 2017. Thank you for your attention, your time, and hopefully see you soon.